Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange and today we are in Elkhart, Indiana. Yes. We're hanging out with Ron from American Coach. What's up, brother? <laughs> What's up, Hank? What's going on? Um, so we're going to do a factory tour, right? These guys make luxury Class B RVs, typically on the Sprinter chassis. That's what we're known for, the Sprinter. Yeah. But if you, got look, Ford, if you look around this lot right now, you'll see a bunch of Fords in that back fence. Yeah. And you'll see some Dodges back there. Yeah. But the majority here are his Mercedes Benz. Right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at a Sprinter going all the way through. Maybe some sneak peeks Maybe. At, the, at the new Ford. A couple of little, little tiny things that are coming Just out. Just for you, Hank. Just yes, for you. Yes, absolutely. So let's get into it right now. That's it. That's that was good. That was awesome. Yeah, Lola doesn't like my sound effects. <laughs> I mean, seriously. So, as you can see all around you, this Sprinter chassis. Now, um, is this typical? What's here? Should it be more? Way more. Should be way more. So, so what's going should, on? We should be bust out the seams here. Yeah. Okay. This little line that you see that's empty and there's only two out front. Yeah. That's where Mercedes Benz drops off their chassis. And as oh, you wow. see, we only have two to check in right now. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. That line is usually all the way to the back fence, all With the way what back. what they dropped there. off. Yes. Okay. Because I know we talked about this on the live. Yes. Is it getting worse, getting better? This worse. is going to go for a while. Worse. And it's okay. going to be a pretty rough next six months. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, hopefully it gets better from there. Like I said, I still think it's going to be a shortage yeah. going on for the next probably about three years or so. Okay. But uh, yeah, like we're gonna yeah. get by though. I mean, yeah, it, you're it, still turning it, but it's just gonna be a long wait for people yes. ordering stuff. Yeah, okay. and um, especially people that are very particular on options. Yes. Okay. That, yeah. If you want a certain color, certain everything. Yeah. yeah it's gonna take time. Yeah. That's where you guys come in. That's like why I get excited. Like you guys, you know, you you got some really different looking stuff. Yes. You know, if you like it beefy and macho, you, <laughs> you do. saw it today. Already. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we'll show some of that. All right. Uh -huh. So let's. Can we show the yeah. folks? how these sprinters look when they first come in it's so, on the inside uh, let's start from the outside yeah absolutely so this chassis mm -hmm. right here is your typical 3500 super single okay mercedes-benz okay. okay this is coming right from south carolina okay right. oh so these are made in south carolina uh they're assembled in south carolina. they're assembled okay yes. yeah okay There's still a lot of german parts a lot of german assembly right um but assembled in south carolina now cool okay All right. so this is how they come um, as you see, Xeon headlamps. Um, you notice uh, a lot of the uh, black uh, plastic here. Yeah, rubber cladding. You never see that on ours. No, it's so we you guys all paint everything of this. Okay, so you paint this. Yeah, paint okay. that. Paint the, the grill. color match. Okay. Look at the cladding down the side. Mm -hmm. That's all painted. Okay. Uh, take a look at the rims here. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we you don't switch, have those rims. Yeah, you switch yep. those out. Okay. Um, we do have windows surrounding the vehicle. Okay. Okay. We do have our power sliding door here. This is wow. what the shell looks like. Yeah, this is what, can we go in? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's go in here, Lola. I'll help you climb up. Very roomy. <laughs> Very roomy A lot of possibilities. Here. Yeah. Let's, uh, let me take a quick look. As you see, look. no insulation. Yeah. Hardly nothing. any wiring. Mm -hmm. Very raw. Yeah. It's great to see, right? Because I, I know a lot of people, I know there's folks out there who make their own and I yes. think when people look at these kinds of videos, I know I was like this. I was like, oh, I think I could do this myself. <laughs> yeah. Until I look at the video. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it is it is just cool to dream, to look at it, yes. and see like, wow, this is where it starts. Absolutely. When, when you see all the work these guys put into it, you be like, yeah, I think that's actually a bargain now. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, another thing to notice up front here, mm -hmm. if you see the seats aren't recovered, yeah. this is just how they come from Mercedes. Yeah. You'll notice all the black plastic the is The cup holders, yeah. No uh, nice wood trim around. Nothing like the, that. The it, this is just the raw shell. Yeah, but still, really, I mean, nice for a Mercedes, yeah, for it, like absolutely. you know, being that. You know, Mercedes they all come in right under about seventy grand. Seventy. Okay. Yep. yep. How they, if they are fully optioned out, that's right where they come in at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, comparatively, I think like the Fords are coming in where around 50, 50 something. They are, yeah. The fully loaded Ford is uh, significantly more than the fully loaded Dodge. Yeah. Your Dodges are right under 40. Okay. Your Ford Transit's right around that 50 mark, mm -hmm. and then this is right around that 65 Seven. to 70 mark. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. This looks. Uh, yeah. This is interesting. So you don't. So everything we'll, we'll, we'll show everyone here how it builds up from here, right? Absolutely. There's probably stuff you guys take off, like you said, the wheels, etc. <laughs> that you don't yeah. use anymore. No, no, no. You know the cladding on the outside. Um, we'll go to the stripping department, mm -hmm. which is basically our chassis prep, mm -hmm. and from there they're going to take deassemble everything so they mm -hmm. get over to paint. Okay. Okay. So we're about to go into the wood shop. Yes. I know it's uh, there's some noise and stuff like that in there. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're gonna probably talk about it out here and then show everyone what's going Absolutely. on inside. And then after that, we're gonna start from where the shell comes in, right? That's yeah. how we're gonna run the whole thing through. Absolutely. Yeah. So okay. we'll the chassis over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then about that time, we want to roll the chassis over the chassis prep. Right. We're gonna start working on the wood. Right. Okay, it's a very long process for us, mm -hmm. and in this building right here, that's where we do all of our exposed wood. All your walnut burls, okay. all your Denali's, are all done in here. Okay. Okay. And so for each vehicle, it's like you know, hey, this is the wood that's going yes. in there, and you're making all the things for that vehicle. Yeah, yeah, it's made time. per vehicle. Okay, for okay. that specific our, one. Our cool. wood department, you'll see that we have pallets in there. Uh -huh. We're just marking the unit number. Mm -hmm. These are all the wood parts that go in that particular vehicle. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. So, okay. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, what do we need? What else do we need to know? That any special stuff that's uh, you know, it's probably better just take a look. Take a look at it. Let's okay. take a look at this one. Yeah. All right. If we if we need some explanation, we'll get yeah. I'll, I'll, to do I'm it here. when we're done. Cup holders and stuff. Hank, what you saw over there, mm -hmm. this is the first piece. Oh, okay. 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 So all of our wood pieces that were just in there mm -hmm. started here. Okay. Okay. Um, as you see, we have many different types of basically. We know what our wall looks like. We know what our cabinets are. Right. Yeah. So, so because of weight, just to explain that, yes. because of weight, you're starting with, with wood. But right. very lightweight wood because you've right. got to control the weight that goes in the van and then like just now yeah. that burl effect is basically like a dip finish that goes on there. Yeah, yeah. So th there is a problem with these vehicles and it's weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. As much as we like to think these are big logistics vehicles that yeah. carry around tons of boxes and stuff. Right. We have to use 3500s for a reason for payload. Mm -hmm. And so as you can see here, we're experimenting with composites right here. Right. Very lightweight. We're experimenting with marine grade uh, uh, MDF board that's right. also extremely yeah. lightweight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are all composite. Wow. Yeah. 
Wow. Okay. So when yeah. I start seeing, like, you know, online, some of these uh, uh, custom van builders out west are putting tile in these yeah. vans <laughs> that are putting real wood in some of these yeah. vans. I'm like, you're overweight. Yeah. There's no way you can do that. Right. Um, we know that, obviously, for the amount that we yeah. produce. But this takes a serious amount of skills. It does. This is a yeah. completely different process. In order to do this, yeah. You still want that thing to get a nice, good fuel efficiency. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't you, want, like, want five miles legal. per gallon. Yeah. You want it to be legal. Yeah. And, and then before before you guys, and we'll probably talk about that towards the end as well, before it all goes out, like, you have certain requirements yes. as a builder of these that you have to meet, like, government requirements, Absolutely. right? Okay. Yep. So there is oversight. It's not like you can just do what you oh, want. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. On a volume scale, mm -hmm. okay? So mm -hmm. if you're producing the amount that we are, we are mm -hmm. certified second stage upfitter, we are a master upfitter for Mercedes, we're mm -hmm. QVM for Ford, okay, um, and, and Dodge's system mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. It, it takes a lot of things to get these certifications. Yeah. Okay? So, okay. yeah, some of these people out there, like build one or two, they don't need to. No. Because, you know, they're yeah. just building for people here and there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you're building the amount that we're building, close to hopefully 2,000 next mm -hmm. year, yeah, you got to have them all in line. And yeah. weight is a serious Big issue. Big deal. Yes, yep. I agree with you. Oh, okay, awesome. Good to good to know that. I never even thought about that. You know, but um, it has that look. It feels good too. Yeah, it feels and looks so, great. So you know your cup holders. Yeah. Um, so they just start out as MDF. Yep, absolutely. Okay. And we cut them over there on our C, uh, CNC machine right over there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So everything goes in here and just yep. gets. Uh, and we what we do is just do runs. Okay. You know, like those are ever overhead cabins when we build them. We'll just do a ton of holes. We'll do overhead lighting. We'll do a lot of things just over and over again. As you can see here, what this is right here, these are the fireflies. Oh, okay. This, this is around. little touch holders. Your yeah, firefly nice. controllers. Okay. Yeah, everything is framed. Everything that we do is framed. We we go beyond the Call of Duty and fit and finish. You know, awesome. we really like to make a Bentley. Rolls Royce style vehicle, Class B. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're known for and when we made limos and we came to the pop top of that game. Mm -hmm. And then when we talked about how RVs became so popular in the same segment, mm -hmm. we didn't change when we did that. You know what I mean? We took yeah. our same things we learned from our business classes, our limos, and just brought it to the RV industry. Right. You yeah. know, we're learning when it comes to some of these uh, appliances. And I think we're going right to the top like we did when it came to our limos, mm -hmm. personal use, business classes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's getting there. It's yeah. really cool stuff we're doing. It is, man. It is. All right. So, so this. What, what other stuff is this? The beginning, really? Yeah. We're kind of going backwards on this one because all of this stuff has to get ready. Yeah. So to, to meet up with the vans at wherever it starts, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. So when we get an order in, mm -hmm. production gets an order in. Okay. Usually it's been sitting there for a while because of the amount that we have. Right. Um, the chassis goes over here, which okay. we're about to show. Okay. But the wood gets started almost immediately as well. Okay. That factory you just saw on the wood here, that all has to be done almost the same time the chassis gets started. Right. Okay. Because that's how long it takes. It takes. Yeah. If I tried to rush something through, mm -hmm. I mean rush something through, there was nothing in between, nothing like mm -hmm. that. It would take two weeks to finish that process. Okay. Okay. The amount yeah. of drying time it right. takes, the amount of man hours it takes, it would take two weeks. So before, so before you do everything, that whole thing would take two weeks. Yes. Once a van comes in as a shell, which we're heading over to now, yep. what, uh, how long does it take for it to be finished? Um, you know, right now I think we're moving about six weeks, okay? Six weeks, okay. Yeah, about six weeks with no waiting whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would say the parts are in, everything's good to go. Mm -hmm. We can build one in about six weeks. Six weeks, okay. okay. And, and that's a little bit longer then oh. you might see other places, yeah, they but that's because of all the different things you guys are doing with yeah, them, Yeah, right? you know, typically okay. I think the industry norm is probably about a week. About a week. Yes. Okay. And again, that's because they're an assembly builder. Mm -hmm. You got all your supply shelves right there and you yeah. just put them together. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so let's talk about it. it. Yeah. So the chassis we saw in our chassis holding lot, this is the next stage here. Okay. We've ripped off all of our cladding. We've ripped off the front bumper. We started to install our pedestals for our front chairs. Okay. All right. We want to make sure everything is certified, so we do almost the all the heavy lifting first. So this is going to have some jump chairs. Yep. Yep. This is okay. probably your MD4 Patriot right here. Okay. Okay. 
Then what you see up front here, all the seats got removed to have mm -hmm. them uh, uh, refabricated. Mm -hmm. And then all your plastic pieces from Mercedes were pulled apart mm -hmm. so they can be dipped in that part where we were just at. Okay, and the foam and stuff come Yeah, from, uh, and then what you got there is what you call a poly wrap or cozy wrap right okay, there. We're already starting to install some of the insulation on the roof. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have some of our cuts being made. Your outlet's on the side. Oh, okay. Give me well, one sec, Rob. I'm coming. So this is going to be outlets here? Yep. We uh, pulled off the rear bumper because that needs to be painted. It may have been black because this is a black chassis, right. but it didn't have a high gloss finish. Okay. So it still has to be completely repainted. Okay. So for example, so this is going to wind up being black, but if someone is getting a special color, yes. which we talk about all the time, yep. so this whole thing will be going through paint, Absolutely. Right? Okay. Yeah. So what we'll be doing, if, say if someone had a custom color, right? Okay. We would get done in this building here, our chassis mm -hmm. prep building, mm -hmm. and then it immediately go to paint. Okay. Okay. Now painting takes about three weeks. Okay. If you were doing a full, full shell, paint, yeah. it is three weeks in our shop. So oh. we just went from six weeks to nine weeks. Okay. On a painted unit. Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Think about that for a second. Yeah. So those special colors take some time. Okay. They do. So you want us to open this? Get a look in here, Lola. In case there's something else that comes. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh. As you see here, these are some of the cladding pieces that we don't want to get rid of, okay. but need to be deassembled. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, you'll notice that for the front too, it's just the power chairs, those yeah. sort of things, the control you might units. have to take that off so you can get the bumper off, exactly. paint bumper, yep. put it back, okay. Lights and things like that are down. Yep. And, and Hank, what, what you'll notice here too is, and I, I see that we're a lot different, mm -hmm. you know, this is, we've taken off the rear plastic as well because we basically discard those yeah. and we put up our own fabric and our own insulation, insulation in the rear doors. Right. Yeah, I have noticed this as I've done, as I've looked at the, the uh, vehicles on the lot with yeah. Sunshine State, mm -hmm. for example. Shout out, shout out to those guys. <laughs> They'll appreciate it. I yep. noticed you guys make a smaller window here. We do. Which I like because yeah. it gives you more insulation Correct. right here and yep. then also privacy. So just yeah. where you need to see. Yep. You can see out, but not and, right You know, here. we yeah. get some people that uh, say, hey, we want a larger window, and we mm -hmm. understand that, mm -hmm. but the insulation value of this and the privacy needed, yeah. I think outweighs the ability to re see out the rear windows. Very yeah. often, we're turning out of our seat to look back yeah. this way, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And this is a giant window for this door. Yeah, it, where there's it, no insulation. I think that's a great idea. I really don't see everyone else doing that. No, and that's it is one of things insulated. I noticed we'll, with you we'll guys. see that a little bit later yeah. on, yeah. but that is insulated box around yeah. there. Yeah, so but it's, it's a really nice touch. Yeah, thank you, yeah. thank you. Yeah, no, yeah. no, we, like I said, our attention to detail is, uh, comes over from that limo yeah. era. Yes, I appreciate that. All right, sounds like a, sounds like a Mercedes closing the door. <laughs> it does. Um, more, more cuts here for mm -hmm. um, uh, some of your water plumbing. Again, this is the heavy lifting side, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So right here is chassis cutting, mm -hmm. um, chassis de assembly, but no, no um, parts that you're used to seeing. Okay. More cutouts here, okay. Yeah, so and this in is- here you've removed some things as well. Because, because all that stuff is gonna get, so if you notice we were talking about, if you go in closer, Lola, you can see around the screen, right where it says Mercedes right there. So mm -hmm. that's where that nice wood trim is gonna come in. Over here are the doors also, right? Yep, absolutely. You see yeah. the power seat controls have been removed. Mm -hmm. We just left the wires hanging here now. Yeah. I mean, you really get, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it, but I can see it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Oh, and the front bumper I see yeah. is also gone. Yes, yes. 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 And I think you were saying outside, sometimes you get it without, without the, do you ever get these without a grill? Or no? Oh, they no, no. So, uh, yeah, most of the time they come with grills. Okay. Okay. But you guys just redo we the whole grill. We pull them out because okay. we have to paint those. Do you, do you That's got to be a tough uh, thing to do. Yes. To paint on that rubber and make it look like this. It is very difficult. Okay. Very difficult. Yeah. You know, we, we, That's almost like doing a chrome, like chrome plating of it, probably. Yeah, very similar. Okay. Um, we, we have a, a mom and pop shop that we do business with that does, has done our painting forever. Mm -hmm. And we've even looked at other ones because sometimes they have problems mm -hmm. with uh, de uh, our, our demand on them. Mm -hmm. 
they don't do, no one no, does it. Yeah, do a better job than them. It is not an easy yeah. thing to do. It is we, better to leave that alone than to do it. We're, we're trying to give them as much know. resources as possible so okay. they can grow mm -hmm. with us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we want to stick with them. Um, and they've done so a that, tremendous job. So that job. goes out of house, but it's somewhere around here? It, it, it's, okay. it's, a pers it's a personal close family friend. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's, uh, that's. And. Like I said, we just saw Mercedes Benz, right. but there is a Ford right there. There's a Ford. So can we take a quick look yeah. here? A little sidetrack <laughs> into the Fords coming up. As soon as these arrive over at Sunshine State RV, Absolutely. I will be giving everyone a full look. But here is, so is this chassis, what is this chassis? It's 2020 okay. or 2021? Uh, 2021. Okay. Um, it all-wheel drive, 3.5 EcoBoost motor. Yes. Fully loaded. Gets a split view camera. Um, you got the new Sync 4 system in there. You got a lot of goodies. I'm so excited to see what these come out like. I, I have a Transit. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, my, my rig is a Transit. I sure. really want to see what you guys do with yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. We're definitely going to throw our flare on it. Yes. Um, we don't make it. Just, we're not going to make and I any see you taking, differences. Yeah. You're taking off the cladding. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And we are going to make this one fully lithium. Oh, full, this is going to so be full So we're lithium. just going to skip the generator uh -huh. all together with the Fords, and every Ford is going to come with our Freedom Lithium package. Oh, nice. Okay, great. Yep. Yeah, so that's something I would do come. in the future as well. I have a generator, which I think is cool, Yeah. and it's quiet, but mm -hmm. in the future, I think lithium is what you want to do. Yeah. Everyone's seeming to get a handle on it. You know, before um, on, in our limo era and that sort of thing, we were the top mm -hmm. in technology in that mm -hmm. realm. Mm -hmm. And so it's taken a second to kind of learn a little bit more about the RV industry of these yeah. vehicles, but we're very close to being top again okay. uh, in our technology realm. Yeah. We're, we are very like to be the very best. In so you guys are maintaining clearance on the here then, since there's no generator, you've got reasonable clearance. Are um, you lifting this a little bit? We're or not. You, okay. No, no, no. Because whenever time you lift, you're always going to suffer in ride quality. Yes. Yeah. Right? Okay. It's always going to be a ride. I don't okay. care. Downforce, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be a ride right. quality okay. suffering. Uh, so we're not touching that. We, mm -hmm. uh, you are going to have some tanks and stuff underneath there. Hanging down. Okay. 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 Um, but it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. And again, the Ford is going to be designed to where it's all-wheel drive. It's going to give a lot of people in snow climates and yeah, stuff. Yeah, snow. Never you're going out like, on the farm. Like exactly. I've taken mine out on farms and stuff like you know, that. No, it's not going to necessarily yeah. be an off-roader. Okay. But what it is going to be is a very comfortable vehicle in all weather conditions. Okay. So if you want to go off-roading, you guys' philosophy, 4x4. Four four. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. Low, lifted, everything. Yeah. You know, a high-low gearbox 4x4 four four is a true off-roader. Mm -hmm. You know, an all-wheel drive set up with a coupling off mm -hmm. the transmission. That's more of a all-weather condition mm -hmm. vehicle. Yeah. Give you more um, uh, confidence out there on the road. Okay, cool. Um, charcoal, I noticed with this. So yeah, color yeah, yeah. options you guys are going to have on the Ford before three. we move? Three. White, silver, and what they call magnetic, which is this charcoal color you okay. see here. Oh, nice. Yep. Okay. Do you want to take a quick look inside, Lola? Seats, looks like the whole seat's also removed here. Oh, wow. Um, and then if you just want to give folks a look inside. Oh, oh, lots of stuff came off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's the airbags right there. That's what you see. Airbags. I mean, you special stitching, too, when we uh, refabric that. Mm -hmm. So the airbag can still deploy through the stitch. Okay. It will break the stitch It'll when it comes to time away. to crash. Oh, cool. Very nice. Uh, yeah. There you go. All right, so we'll keep moving. If we see any... Let me see, I'll wait until Lola. Hey, give me one sec. Now that I get light in, let me just go ahead and pan through here. Yeah, I think this is interesting here. It says black floor, black carpet. It's a man <laughs> after my own heart. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> whoever whoever this is. So so you so this is what happens when someone has a custom order. Yeah. Like yeah. No. The, no. The, this is they, very they similar to what a customer goes. sees when they build okay. something. Yeah. I don't want to show this, Lola, just because we don't want to show whoever it is. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah. But yeah. No. 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 We we have our feature sheet, which uh -huh. every customer is seen, and we have the build form, which mm -hmm. most customers have seen. Okay. And that just goes right in the window, and then more notes are added to it from production. Um, but yeah. No. It's cool. uh, very similar to what the customer sees. Excited to see sees. what these look like, man. We look yeah. right here. We got a lot of our pedestals and stuff. So this is getting the same kind of pedestal. So you guys always do two seats on the jump seats, right? You don't 
There's not... Uh, yeah, we always do two. We used to one, okay. um, but then you have issues with opening doors, You have, uh, especially the refrigerator. Okay. Um, it, it just seemed like uh, if you really narrowed down what everybody wants, mm -hmm. majority wanted that way. Okay, cool. Makes sense. All right, let's see. So pretty much empty, yep, empty, empty vans here like we've already seen. Yep, yep. So a lot of cutting, a lot of the same things you just saw. Mm -hmm. Things get moved around quite a bit in line in this side. Mm -hmm just because of how what's going to go in. Mm -hmm. um, this right here is a cruiser. Okay. okay. Cruiser. Um, so our cruiser, your internal front AC and heating condition mm -hmm. is right in the front there and it's ducted down the sides. Oh, okay. So that's done right here. Yeah, that's a nice big uh, duct right here. Yeah, that, wow. that's actually done by Pro Air. So most oh, of wow. are used to Pro Air being on the roof. Right. Right? Okay. Well, we were the first ones really to use Pro Air. Uh -huh. We just use them internally. Oh, so yeah, so you don't see a bump up on the roof. Right. Right. Now on our RVs, we typically do the rooftop. The rooftop. Okay. But on our cruisers and our limos, yeah. we do internal stuff. Yes. So I didn't know that, and the, and we've got at least one limo video up that we did. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yep. As you can see here, when it does come time to mess around with um, that internal AC system, right, it does require the alternator and everything to be oh. programmed to work for that. Okay. Running coolant lines to the motor itself. Mm -hmm. So it, it is definitely an under hood operation as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys get seriously in depth in these. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, no. It, this is a full mechanic shop. <laughs> wow. Yeah, okay. Very few, yeah. like, I don't want to get too close to, to someone's work here. <laughs> no, you know, are, I know how that is. <laughs> no, no, they are at lunch right now. That's yes. why we're not seeing Yeah, we're lucky. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Which um, is good. There's not a lot of, there's no music or exactly. anything playing through uh, here. To the right here, we got these, uh, uh, Platform. Up here, yeah, uh -huh. platform, uh, mm -hmm. so they can check on the roof. Oh, cool! So we're adding HD air antenna. So we can go panels. up there and take a look at that, right? Absolutely. Okay. On this uh, side over here, there's some uh, steps up. Oh, okay. Make so right easier. here, the subfloor. Yeah. What one, do you guys do with subflooring? One thing I'd like to talk about the subfloor here. Mm -hmm. This is one solid piece, mm -hmm. Hank. You know, typically you got little sections here. Yeah. There, mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. This is one long solid piece cut out to meet this van. Cool. What it removes is your dead steps. Now, mm -hmm. a lot of people use a staggered mm -hmm. um, to remove dead steps. Right. You know what's even better than that? One piece. One <laughs> giant piece. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's the way you do it, like <laughs> industry standard, but it takes, like if you want yeah. you know, the high end of, of the standard. Uh, but it's not easy, I'm sure. To it is not it. easy. No, okay. we have to special order these in. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we've been around since 2003 making limos, doing other things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have relationships with uh, wood suppliers, all these things, because mm -hmm. we typically help support mom and pop shops mm -hmm. in our products. Oh, cool. That, that, that is something as a, a philosophy in our business, yeah. is that we've always taken care of the smaller people, mm -hmm. and they've always given us something unique and interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that helps them grow. Yep. Okay, so then you've, I see some frames are going up here, too, mm -hmm. for those things. So let's sit. You want to take a look up there, up top? Do we have anything up top yet? Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, we got, um, this one looks to be... Fairly complete up top. Okay, up top. Okay, yes. yeah. So we definitely want to take a look at Maybe that. Maybe just missing some caulking or something like yeah. that. I'm sure that's why it hasn't moved yet. Okay. But most things have been um, uh, put on the roof. Okay. Yeah, so let's take a look up here. Your um, One thing notice there, you see that big cut right there. That's that all-in-one utility bay. Right. Yeah. Okay, so that's already been cut in. It takes a lot of skill and precision to make those mm -hmm. cuts. Yeah. Because you can only cut it one time on yeah. these. So there's <laughs> some kind of jig or something. You got it, it is, it is. Yeah, it's got exactly the right spot. <laughs> um, right oh, over the, there is where the cut is. Here's the floor is. layout. Yeah, okay. Uh, this one right here, as you can see, is going to be a cruiser. Um, mm -hmm. You can tell that by the uh, four pedestals right here. Mm -hmm. So right here, you'll have your two sofas, your rear restroom, and your four captain's chairs right behind the driver and passenger. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Big giant cool. sheets right there. Yeah, so this is like the bathroom section. Uh, what is that called? Like, well, this is not a bathroom in the cruiser, you right? You know, it's a, it's a rear head. You okay, know? rear head. Um, okay. uh, you got your uh, sink, you got a refrigerator, mm -hmm. toilet, yeah. microwave. Yeah. On uh, this one right here, this is an MD4. Mm -hmm. You can tell because you got the cutout for the shower right there. Oh, right there, okay. And then you got your two captain's chairs. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, your soap and everything. No, need, no cuts need to be made to go through the floor. Yeah, I would love to see that one of these days, getting actually put in that band. Yeah. <laughs> that would 
that nice little dance. It, 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 it's a group of guys, that's yeah. for sure. And they're getting that in in one piece. Uh huh. They're young. They're young and they're back yeah. in the <laughs> Right. <laughs> I said I'd like. To, I want to see it. I don't want to do it. Exactly. exactly. Right. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, let's go up here. Yeah, so as you see, this is going to be a freedom unit, and I can tell that by the amount of solar power up here. Okay. Okay, Lots. so we got three uh, large panels. Mm -hmm. We got the new Premier air conditioner right there. Mm -hmm. um, you have your uh, Max Air fan there mm -hmm. inside the vehicle HD Air over there, and mm -hmm. then of course your uh, carefree awning on that side. Right. Very nice. Mm hmm. This is cool. There's a lot going on up here. So there this is. is. Is this going to have. Um, uh, like ladder? No, I can already uh, tell by okay, that. Okay. So um, uh, you would already start to see where the holes were going to be made mm -hmm. for your um, uh, uh, connections for your ladder. That's oh, okay. Already you would already see that. Yep, in. You would already okay. find that. So this looks like a shorter wheelbase. Yep. You're more like uh, I guess I got a lot of guys use this for off road. What do you call these shorter ones? Um, this particular one right here. Yeah. Is going to be a cruiser. This is a cruiser. This is a cruiser. It's a 144 oh, okay. mil base. Okay. So yep. is it 4x4? Four four? This one is not. It's rear wheel drive. Okay. Uh -huh. um, this is a cruiser. I can tell that by the two pedestals right there. Oh, right. Okay. okay. On our RV, that's where the shower would go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is going to be a cruiser here. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can always tell the AC and heat system in the front. Okay. See, I just assumed it would be the 4x4 four four because I see a lot of guys who really want to go off-roading yeah. use these shorter ones to do that, right? Well, you know, it's the same idea, and, you know, let's go say, let's go off-roading. Yeah. This individual probably needs for a city. Right, oh, right, So right. he needs a shorter vehicle yeah. to yeah. be in the yeah. urban yeah. jungle. Right, yes. Right? Uh -huh. So he needs parking spots, he needs those sort of things. So, right. yeah, that's why that we go for shorter cruisers. Uh -huh. And, of course, for the shorter wheelbase when it comes to off-roading for the RV guys. Okay. Right. Hopefully we'll see one of those. Yeah. Yeah, I, I bet we'll we will. Going through here. They are in short supply right now, yeah. but I'm sure we'll. Well, the, the, so those are always less of them, right? Always less. Okay. Just Mercedes-Benz makes less. Yeah. You know, they're designed for to be logistics vehicles. Okay. Right? can't carry as much in a shorter mm -hmm. vehicle. Mm -hmm. So it means they're not ordered as much. Yeah, makes but sense. that's just the way it goes. What's going on with the lights in here? Lights, just to make sure we got our um, no bubbles, no nothing wrong with our flooring. Okay. So this is a laminate style flooring that we put on top of the wood here. Okay. As you can tell with this lighting system, you could tell if there's a bubble oh, wow, very yeah. easily. Yeah, okay. And once you see underneath uh, these wheel wells, we have foam padding. We have a foil insulation, and then of course we have our carpet on top of that. So it gets rid of all that noise. So that flooring goes down, and then there's a uh, a surfacing that goes over that. It's textured. Correct. Okay, yes. it's uh -huh. grooved. I can feel yeah. it. Oh, nice. Yep. Okay. So that feels really like this was wood that was laid down. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, that's, that's it's real neat. Yeah. And then, as you can see, this amount of seams on the floor, mm -hmm. very very few. Yeah. So if you leak something, whatever, it's just going to sit there until you mop it up. Yeah. You know, you're not going to have too much, uh, too many issues there. What's going on over the wheel wells? So wheel wells is, looks like a cruiser to me, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. what we're going to have is we covered the wheel wells to get rid of the noise, okay, okay? and have more insulation. Mm -hmm. But um, there are going to be two jump seats across from each other here. Oh, okay. Okay. To put a wall back here, I can already see the uh, rear uh, roof fan oh, that's okay. going to be put in there. Mm -hmm. That's why we got a hole there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is going to be a cruiser. Oh, cool. And just a little detail here. I notice I've seen these throughout the vans. This is yes. the wiring looms. Yeah, so that's what we put in here. Okay. okay? So um, we use quite a bit because wiring just hanging. Just, do you see it? Yeah. It makes okay. quite a bit of noise. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we use tons of clips. We mm -hmm. use tons of these uh, little PVC pipes to basically run wire through. And, and that helps doing, keep it from like. Yeah, you get rid of a lot of noise. Cut up. Okay, yeah, it, noise. It, it really is the big thing's noise. Okay, you can hear those rattle wires inside. Oh, wow. Okay, a lot. And a Talk. lot of people don't really realize that. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. A little inside tip if you want to do your own thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of time, yeah. a lot of work. Industry. Um, That's you top there, secret. Hanging huh? there. Yes. These What's are all this? these sensors. Okay. That Mercedes Benz. So we have to reestablish those into the bumpers. In the bumper, yeah. Once we're done with them. Yeah, because it's telling you inside, of, like how close you are to what back exactly there, that's right? your backup sensor yeah right there. yeah i think there's like a 360 uh sensor array or something like oh, yeah. that no, no, okay absolutely. um cool. over here we got a very small little plasma shop mm -hmm. um just cutting everything for metals fab okay um, 
our rear walls and our cruisers mm -hmm. use aluminum backing as a frame. Okay. So a lot of that's being cut through here. Okay, so that's what would go on here. Yep. Okay. And that's the aluminum up top? Yep. Okay. Again, wait so here's some frames. Yeah. Other okay. than our seat frames. So right here, these frames are for the back, for back walls? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Cool. Yep, anytime you see a partition, a half partition, full partition, it's usually okay. aluminum frame. Aluminum frame is that. Yep. Okay. So it's strong. It is flexible. strong, but again, lightweight. Yeah. And the rules keep getting stricter on that. Mm -hmm. You know, when we first started, mm -hmm. we used to use a 2500 for our business class. Okay. We can't use a 2500 chassis anymore. No. It has to be a 3500. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Why is that? Um, a weight constructs. So your oh. payload in the back. Basically, each time you got a it used to be about 150 pounds mm -hmm. per uh, individual inside the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Well, it's increased because yeah. people have gotten bigger for the years. Right. Yeah. You know, we've been around <laughs> since so three. Yes. So uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we can't make the people smaller. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. What are we looking at here? That's laid right, out. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. So this is uh, Knuff insulation. Okay. All right. Okay. We use it's an R7 at two two and a quarter inches. Okay. Which brings it to a 15.75 R value. Okay. Okay. This is uh, designed for steel and uh, rock. Okay. okay. So perfect for our vehicles. Okay. Um, they're all moisture resistant. That's what I was gonna say. Okay. Yep. Moisture, moisture resistant. resistant. Okay. Uh, they use something called Ecos, which is very environmentally friendly. Okay. So uh, we're taking care of there. And it can be handled by hand. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Absolutely. You know, there is a little bit of fiberglass in it, but it's not as bad as your pink fiberglass, which you make it just itch everywhere. Right, okay. Um, this is uh, what some people call cozy wrap. This is uh, our version, it's called poly wrap. Poly wrap, okay. So we put that throughout the vehicle on the roof. Mm -hmm. um, it helps uh, basically reflect some of your heat that you would get from the uh, ceiling of the van. Mm -hmm. We're going to put that all for the front and uh, some halfway down the vehicle. Okay. In the back. Yeah. You got, see, you've got a lot of heat pads. Yeah, lots it is, of, yeah. We are running low. I mean, oh, it, wow. it's, okay. uh, you can definitely see that. Yeah. So are you guys having a tough time, materials coming in, material prices going up for you all? You know, we are the base. You know, we are a custom builder, as you can see here, and we'll keep going, our own seating, everything's done in-house. Okay. So the raw materials affect us more than others, mm -hmm. um, because we, that's what we do, we're a custom right. shop. Yeah, so you need a lot of that. We do, yeah. we do. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, no, no, it, it's it's a hard time right now. Okay, for that. yeah. Um, as you see here, we got a lot of our wiring being done. Okay. We're wiring right before we insulate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, big thing I uh, take away from this, and I'll, I'll show you guys from the side here. Yeah. You see how quick speed. Remember the doors oh, we were yeah. talking about? Yeah. It started to make a door yep, here. Absolutely. We're already starting yeah. to insulate them. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, we're uh, getting cool. the door yeah. on there. Yeah. Okay, so lots of, uh, if you want to look at the wiring in here, very yeah. organized. <laughs> As you can see here, we got tons of clips. Yeah. The clips, clips, clips everywhere you go to help uh, decrease, decrease the noise value. Yeah. And less rubbing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's very organized, actually. Is the wiring schematic the same? For every, uh, I know, I, I know it can't be the same for every yes. model that you guys are doing, but mm -hmm. even within the models is different. Yeah, every okay. model is different because you got lithium. Okay. Completely different setup than a generator unit. Okay. You know, we get a lot of customers saying, "Hey, I got a generator unit. Can I convert it to lithium?" Mm -hmm. Well, you can convert the battery itself to lithium, mm -hmm. but how the lithium package operates, mm -hmm. no, you cannot convert. Okay. That. Yeah. But that is a something that's a fundamental change in the wiring. That you're making. Variable. Yeah. Yeah. Completely different wiring. <laughs> yep. um, uh, we do our own tire bouncing here. I okay. hear that is something that uh, most manufacturers do not do. Okay. Again, this is, we're a heavy mechanical shop. Right. And we can do this. So this has got the rims that it's, it's giving. It's got rims. It's uh -huh. bounced already. Mm -hmm. So it, it is ready to go for the road. Right. No okay. vibration. What's that? What is bouncing? Uh, bouncing balancing. your tire. Well, balancing. Yeah. Balancing, sorry. Yeah. No, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. Um, uh, over here. We're just going to start seeing some insulation being put in. Look at those tires. Yeah. So this one, what's this one? This is a shorter wheelbase. This is a 4x4 shorter wheelbase. All right. Base. I found Four one. Rims. I found one. Boom. Look at those rims. What yep. rims do you guys use here? Let's see. Take what is it? There. Method? Race wheels? Yep. We, we've moved around quite a bit on the rims. We're still yeah. trying to figure out which one's best for us. Right. Okay. 
a little tougher. Yes. Little nice little clearance in there. Mm -hmm. Some and, lucky person. Yeah, yeah. And, and the tire too. You know, we're not so extreme that it's not mm -hmm. gonna it's gonna give a rough ride on yeah. the pavement. We go more of a hybrid off road. Style. Okay. Okay. Cool. So we do choose these tires uh, particularly. Uh, yeah. We're getting some detail. Yeah, I want to do a walkthrough on one of these if I can catch one, but. Yeah. Like guys, I've talked to guys, they wait for these like maybe eight months, a year yes, in order for them do. to come in, yeah. All right, so here is some insulation being put in oh, this cool. vehicle here. Okay. Um, as you see, we got that poly wrap coming up for the front and then switching over to our uh, Knuff insulation there. Mm -hmm. All the way through. Yep. A lot of your wiring is hidden behind the insulation and mm -hmm. some is in front. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the, yeah, this is the cutout for the shower, for the shower right here. Cool. Let's wait for a moment. Uh, that's a cruiser. Cruiser. Lots of wiring spools yeah. behind you. Yeah. Man, look at the amount of wires. <laughs> yeah, what, in weight, what kind of wiring yeah. weight do you think you have? in here when you, you know, talk I don't about know the weight. exact number just wiring alone you can just imagine but though just yeah. look at that probably heavier than a person <laughs> oh yeah e easily if that amount yeah. of copper going through there yeah yeah and, no, th no. and then if it's a, a lithium you've got like thicker wire you copper yeah, make wire getting wired in okay very cool awesome it's like veins <laughs> it is yeah <laughs> I mean, just even keeping it all together yeah. to put, put it where, you know, where it all belongs. You know, we got a few guys back there. That's all they do is the wiring. Okay. okay. And uh, they've learned some addicts from us and just pass it on. Okay. Right here is tire department. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're balancing on the tires mm -hmm. there. Your, uh, your certain tires being put on certain rims over here. Mm -hmm. um, all done right here in house. Where we got the BFG uh, yeah. good wrench, the new uh, um, yeah. off-road tires. Yeah, that we're method trying to use. race wheels, all so lighter, stronger, faster. Absolutely. So once again, even there, you guys are looking for weight. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. We are. No, okay. no, no. It, like I said, it, it's it's a whole process. Anywhere we can cut, we want mm -hmm. to make that. It's gonna make better handling vehicles, mm -hmm. better driving experience, but of course, also being legal. Yes. Okay. And then we got some um, all-season rims. Mm -hmm. I mean, sorry, uh, tires. tires. Mm -hmm. Uh, that we're gonna put on our Barabbas rims. Okay. Uh, you've seen those before, those 18 inches. Okay. Um, we are getting a shortage of those. Those do come from Germany. Oh, so okay. So a little bit oh. shortage there. Okay. With, uh, we've had some flown in mm -hmm. instead of typically <laughs> shipped in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, wow. It's expensive. Yeah. It's getting hairy out there. It is. Yeah. It is. Some prototype rims behind there. Okay. <laughs> So we've got some racks out here. We do. Um, you know, again, sporting those mom and pop shops in oh, town right. here. Mm -hmm. um, this Wanna is all our own racks? custom roof racks. Oh, they are? Okay, yeah. cool. A lot of people talk about how sturdy and where can I buy those roof racks for, let's say, another man. Yeah. Well, it's because we're made especially for us. So you guys got, okay, we made do. for you and, what, and, and your layout. Yeah. So these are all for sprinters. Do you have roof racks for the tr uh, transit vans? We will. You will. We okay. will. Right now, the first this year, mm -hmm. we will not have probably roof racks for the transit. Okay. Okay. There's just uh, there's just too much issues when it comes to everything right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. to mess around with something like that. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Very cool though. I love the racks, man. I climbed up. We'll, we'll probably show it at the end. You've got a really nice. Uh, model yeah. down towards the end, and you know, I climbed up there to get a look. I was like, "Oh, this is awesome!" And it's fully yeah. walkable too. Yeah, you know, there's solar panels on board. Mm -hmm. You know, but the solar panels themselves are in a plastic housing with aluminum uh, mm -hmm. brace. Yeah, you can put stuff on top there. Yeah, you know, tie axle, whatever. Yeah. Um, but so was, uh -huh. all, all these vans here, Hank, uh -huh. already came out of this building right here. Okay. So they're fully done, mm -hmm. and they're now waiting our assembly building. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll go into there. Oh, so these are done in the, with this process, and then they wait over here to go on to the go inside. Okay. Cool. We got a Ford here. Oh, yeah. Can we look in that? Yeah, yeah. Let's That's check it out. More Ford stuff. We've always got to give Ford some love, I see. Yes, <laughs> I do. Absolutely. Let's check it out here. 
check that out without the bumper on. Is, is this power, powered? This is a power one, but they also disconnect everything. Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. I like the power. That's what I'm missing on mine, a nice power door. So here we go. Mm-hmm. So what are we looking at here? Is the shower going here? Shower's going right there behind your driver. Interesting, okay. Yep. It's gonna be a, a, what they call, what we call an MD2 floor plan. Okay, so yeah. this doesn't have any seats back here? We will not have any seats back here. Okay. No, on all of our Fords, Ford is shorter than the 170 extended Mercedes Benz. Yes, right. And it basically removes the ability to have Ford cabin steering back there. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, if you had that extra two feet, yeah, You'd have then it. the Ford is a 22, right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Say the Sprinter's a 24. Yep. Can I just oh, can I open this door here? Yeah. I just want to oh, see if they made any. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so all of this is gonna have nice surround. <laughs> wow, oh, that's cool. Yep. Okay. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Um, and then this is the cutout where, so on these, on the Fords, I noticed you guys are putting so that all right your stuff was, is coming shower. this way and up. Yeah, so okay. we're going to have the shower probably right here. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to do Mace Trader pumps and uh, all those things you find on our Mercedes, mm -hmm. but those will probably be a little bit lower. A little lower, yeah. okay. Uh-huh. Cool. Again, we always have to, it, every manufacturer has how much metal we can actually be taken right. out of the vehicle <laughs> um, and still call it safe. Yeah. And I'm, I'm guessing the Ford didn't like that all in bay right. for their particular vehicle. Okay. I see we've got a couple more Fords out here. We do, yes. Are uh, they probably pretty much the same shape? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're okay. all pretty much the same shape. Right? Okay. Going in here. So now we're entering our main assembly. Okay. Okay. I see we've got propane tanks. You guys are still doing propane? Yep, yep, for okay. all of our generator units. Okay. Oh, so your generators are propane? Yeah, because uh, Mercedes Benz. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right, so our main assembly building is broken down into two lines. Okay. Okay. The uh, outside line, mm -hmm. this right here is going to be your RVs. On mm -hmm. the inside, that's going to be your cruisers, limos. Okay. Now, in this front area, though, we got two, uh, we got three lifts right now. Mm -hmm. um, we'll move them around and stuff to get underneath there, just to make them speed up a little quicker. Okay. But once beyond this little corner up here, mm -hmm. then they're basically broken down into the two lines. Okay. So what are they doing up in the air here? Here, tanks, generators, oh, batteries. Okay. Literally anything that's going to be done underneath here. Mm -hmm. But it does go up again to basically get your undercoating put done. Oh, okay. So it's undercoated mm -hmm. again. Okay. You want to me? Here, let me take a look. Under here, just a little quick sneak peek Absolutely. of what's going on under there. This one right here looks to be a 144. Okay. Let's see if we got a gray, a fresh. I would most likely think this is going to be either a Passage or Patriot. Okay. There's a Ford right there. All right. This looks like a shorter. Yeah, this is also a big up 144. Yeah. Water tanks? Bunch of water tanks. Okay. The new true tank sensors as well on board. Mm -hmm. What is a true tank sensor? Do? That's the new sonar from Firefly that basically monitors your tanks while yeah. you're in motion. Yeah. Okay. So the water can go back and forth. And then it gives you the average sum of basically that wave going back and forth. So it's idea. more accurate to what you have in there, right? Right. Yeah. Gotcha. There's a bunch of the valves right here that you're pulling to do your dumping, right? Yep. A lot of valves, a lot of plumbing. Mm -hmm. Two tanks, such as on these ones right here, fresh water. Your black says tanks. Shorty Fresh. Shorty That's, Fresh. That sounds like a rap name. It does sound like a rap name. <laughs> Yeah, nice. So when you see here, Ford, obviously mm -hmm. for our Ford chassis, shorty, mm -hmm. meaning our 144 chassis. Right. A little shorter stuff. Yeah. I'm going to call them shorty freshes. Shorty freshes, that's the way to go. Great tanks there. Okay. Yeah, that's the way to go. Okay. Yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah, that's the way to go. Generators up there, that's the uh, new uh, quiet tech generators. Uh -huh. okay, cool. We got some gas in it. Power furnaces there. So you guys, did you say at some point you're going just all lithium, or are you always going to yeah, have the yeah, generator yeah. option? No, we'll go lithium at one point. 
you just go all lithium. Yeah, okay. Like I said, how, how long do you think that's going to be before you guys do that? Good question. Uh, okay. If I had to guess right now, I'd say we're two years away. Two years? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, you know, like I said, it could change. Okay. We, don't, we don't know. We, we've got open, but as you can see, our commitment to the lithium is pretty evident with yeah. our new Ford. This is a Ford Being that we're here. only going to provide lithium on it. Okay. Okay. So now the Ford doesn't get this kind of treatment in the door at the back, I noticed, with the smaller window. Yeah, so like I yeah. said, everything's going to be taken a little bit different. It's a different pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lots of insulation up in the roof here. See a lot of this fabric wrap stuff here, mm -hmm. all of our wood that's fabric wrapped what we're known mm -hmm. for inside. It has quarter inch mm -hmm. um, foam behind that as well, helps with insulation. Okay. But it also helps with noise. Um, if you look at that little cabinet right there, okay? Now for what we see, it's a nice round fabric cabinet from the inside there. Mm -hmm. This is gonna go in the back of a cruiser. Oh, okay. But hey, feel how lightweight that is. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, so this is like a, like a storage pocket? Yeah, it's going to be right in the above and the back. Oh, right, right, yeah, okay, yeah. nice. It's going to be right up in there. Yeah, that's a nice big storage thing. Yeah, too. so what we're doing here is we're using multiple pieces inside here mm -hmm. to basically make something that's strong this but is very the, yeah, lightweight. This is adding strength, yeah. Uh-huh, and again, cool. the uh, appearance yeah. is quite like beautiful. The, yeah, I like the idea of that. Mm -hmm. Everything color match for, for what this what's going probably in this van, right? So these boxes here are going along with the vans and right. what color is supposed to go in there? Absolutely. Okay. Yep, okay. Yep. No, we're going to be doing that down this little aisle right here. Oh, we going, okay, are we going this way? Um, uh, let's go this way. And that, let's see, I actually have the shop that wraps these. Okay. So over here is our wrapping part. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it's right next to our wood shop. Now this wood shop is from the other one. Now this is structural wood here. Okay. All right. So we got CNC machines in here, a whole bunch of stuff. But this is just your typical workshop. Okay. So these are what? Are, what are these? This is this at? right here is going to go to your walls. Okay. Oh, so okay. this is your window ledge right here. Mm -hmm. Nothing's been wrapped yet. Mm -hmm. Again, very lightweight. Nothing okay. too crazy. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. we got ceilings there. Oh, okay. So all of that gets wrapped? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's where it gets made, then it gets wrapped. Got it. Okay. Got it. Cool. So your ceiling is all one piece. Oh, here it goes. Yeah, like forward and rear uh -huh. piece. Very cool. Prototype. <laughs> so there's a prototype in there, yeah. Very nice. Do our front pro air for our cruisers. Mm -hmm. This is your ducks so in, your ducks oh, okay. out. Little holes for your lights. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, we're we're definitely a custom shop when you come to our shop right. and yeah, take it's a not look. A joke. Yeah. <laughs> the cost of well. wood must be hitting you guys hard right now. Yeah, like I said, raw materials hits us worse than probably any of our competitors. Yeah. But, you know, we make up for it. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we find ways where we can cut here and there and yeah. add more there and there. Do I see a ProMaster getting worked on? Or uh, so that is a prototype. Okay, prototype. Can't look at that. Can't look at that one. Okay, I'm that, going to go a, uh, that direction. That's a rear, that? <laughs> I'll, I'll explain it though. That's okay. a rear restroom Dodge. Oh. Okay, so okay. We, we haven't had a rear restroom Dodge. Okay. So just give you an idea, it's in, it's in the works. It's in the works for anyone who wants to know. I tried to go over there, but Lola wouldn't let me. Yeah. So let's walk through our wrapping department. Okay. Okay, again, everybody's on lunch right now. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at some of the fabric everybody's wrapping with. This is the same fabric that's being used in our seating yeah, department. Yeah, that's the same. Okay. We'll Got like a foam backing. Mm -hmm. Here's the gray one. Yep, here's your graphite. Here's yeah. your um, sand right here. Are these the options you get, or are there's more options? Yeah. Yep, these are some of them right here. As you see, everything's labeled. We've already made the cuts. 
Oh, okay. Okay. So you already know what you want to grab. Uh-huh. Also forward. Also forward. Probably in the forward seat, you guys have that you're working on. You know, like right now, we're gonna try to build as much as we can. Okay. Um, because of the crisis with Mercedes Benz and their chassis. Is oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, what is the? Can you talk about what the holdup is on the Sprinter chassis? Sprinter chassis, it's it's truly an accumulation of a lot of things. Okay. It, it's accumulation of uh, chips. Mm -hmm. and it's production. And mm -hmm. it's quite a few things. Uh, the Ford thing is pretty simple. Okay. It's just chips. Just the chips. The, the Mercedes parts. Of the I think it's some emission stuff with uh, Mercedes. It does have emission problems. Okay. Chips. It's got to be yeah. Okay. I'm with you now. There we go. So this box is this. Yeah, TV? yeah. So this box right here. No, no. This okay. is actually going to be this way. Okay. This is for the rear restroom. So the refrigerator is oh. going to go in there. Oh right. Okay. And then your ventilation for the top of the refrigerator. Oh okay. Cool. Oh. Okay. Nice. Everything's being wrapped inside. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's a cabinet that looks fantastic from this point of view. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're using a pretty light weight. Nothing mm -hmm. really there. Mm -hmm. But well fabric wrapped. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Every piece you can imagine that needs to be fabric wrapped. Everything has inside. to get, yeah, everything has to get that wrap on it. As you can see, this is the reason why custom floor plans, these sort of things, are so difficult for this crew mm -hmm. because they're already at max capacity. Right. And look at the amount of patterns they already have to wrap. Right. Yeah. And then each thing has to be engineered to actually fit correctly. Yeah. So but do you do, so someone, can someone do custom cabinetry? Um, like what they, to adjust the sizes and those sort of things? Yeah. Not anymore. Not anymore. Okay. No, we just can't okay. do it. Okay. It's, as you can see here, this is... This is, this yeah, is, this this is, is tough to this handle. Is okay. Um, again, more stuff here. Here we got some balances that we're working on. So the fabric mm -hmm. and they're about to stitch some of the uh, nice polished wood that we saw back there mm -hmm. in the other factory. Okay, so they tape it all up. Yep, make sure you give it a pre-done. Uh, they do tape it up uh, uh, to make sure it doesn't scratch. Yeah. Okay, so it's this early on. We want to make sure nobody scratches it when they're working inside the vehicle. What are these pieces? Um, so, as you see here, another Ford. So Ford. this is your headliners for inside your vehicle. Oh, okay. So we got to refabric them because they all come gray. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, so so this is like going to be black? Yep, this one will be black here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, so you, yeah, you guys are changing that. <laughs> yeah, because you don't hear. Here's another balance with the LED uh, accent lighting behind it. Oh, cool. It's ready to be plugged in. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I see lots of LED wiring around here. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's cool. Armrest. Armrest. A couple of uh, sofas in the back. Yeah, the cup holders. Mm -hmm. And then now we're back on the line here. What we're seeing here is we're seeing a partially finished unit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's either a Patriot or a Passage. Mm -hmm. This is an MD2 here. What's with the flooring? It's that weaved one. The weaved one. Yeah. Uh huh. Pretty neat. It is pretty neat. So it's that's a new option. Mm -hmm. um, on the Passage, it's called the Weekender Package. You get the weed flooring. On the Patriot this year, it's called the Legacy Edition, and you get the weed flooring. So make sure you look at that on the options list. Is that bamboo? What is the material that's going in there? Yeah, it's bamboo. You just say that. Yeah. Oh, what is it? This? <laughs> oh, okay. It's nice. Yeah, no, no, no. Like it, it is it. very nice. Yeah. No, I it's like very it. nice. I, I highly doubt it's bamboo. Yeah, some kind of weave. Yeah. But it seems like it's pretty tough, and then it has a texture also. Yeah, it's traction. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's the things. same as pontoon flooring. Okay. So that's where we got it from, is boats. Okay. There's oh, a lot of marine boats in this industry. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we, that's where we saw that. Okay. But uh, our wood farm is still going to be... This is a Ford. Yep. Okay, so what is it? So here we go. We see a Ford getting uh, finished out <laughs> here. Got the screen. Mm -hmm. I like you guys. I like how you guys do the screen. Yep. Very solid. Very solid. <laughs> <laughs> Very solid screen, which I'm a fan of. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's happening right up here? 
Yeah, so we'll put some electronics in each one of those corners. Oh, okay. But basically, that is your um, uh, cabinet right there that you're facing this way. Okay. And you see that's a box of it. And your box for that cabinet and the box for that cabinet. Okay, cool. Can we go in? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Let's, probably go around let's go. Side. Yeah, let's go in this way and take a look at it. So this has got a nice uh, brown wood floor to match the, the burl. This is finished in burl. Yeah, this is your satin walnut burl here. Yeah. Do you want to go in, Lola? You getting enough light in there to go in? Okay. And then a milkweed fabric inside this one. That's See what that this... cozy wrap for the front there? Yeah. So the whole headliner is going to come in here, right? Yep. Is there going to be a shelving shelving here, or? Um, we'll have to look at that. Okay. Um, I am not sure, but I, I would most likely think so. It's something that we've always done. Okay. Cool. Let's, let's see what I can see. So what floor plan is this? Uh, MD2. We're only going to have one for our Ford, and it's going to be the MD2 floor plan. Yeah. So, so it's we'll kind of dark the, here for everyone yes. watching. But, so know, we'll have the larger the refrigerator over. there. We'll have the microwave above. Mm -hmm. We'll have a wardrobe cabinet there. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, just normal lounge in the back there. Is this going to be a convection? Or an induction stove right? top here. I'm sorry, induction. Yeah, yeah, Why yeah, do yeah. I... No, you're good. You're good. Yeah. Yep, yep, we'll have an induction stove induction, top here, yeah. and then your sink right here. Okay, and then what about the microwave? Uh, the microwave, um, I'll have to double check on that as we go through these. Okay. Some things we're going convection, some things we're going microwave Some not, right okay, now. cool. You're seeing most people are just using basically like little oven boxes on the side here. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of people liking those right now. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, cool. Right. Over here, a lot of that polished wood we saw in the factory over there. They are basically double checked to make sure there's no imperfections in this wood. Okay, so that's kind of what this department here does. Okay, before they go in. Yep. Uh, there, should we go back there? Yeah, take a look. Yeah, if you go Let's take a look, you can find a unit number and basically all the hardwood that's required. So making the faces for the galley there. So all those things will like, come together and get assembled with wooden presents. Got uh, satin ash there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's pretty popular. Oh. Yeah. What is this color? That one is black denali with okay. a polished finish. Black denali. Y'all know the pearl. pearl there. <laughs> it's pretty easy to find <laughs> yeah, the pearl. That I know. Yeah. <laughs> Mercedes for a long time, you know. It was. Yeah. You, it's, you just you think classic. You thought of a weird jet. You thought of anything. You're like, yeah. yeah it's got walnut burl on it. Yeah. But this one's not glossy finished. It isn't. Everyone likes the new satin finishes, but yeah, it's a satin walnut burl. Okay. You know? Yeah, that's nice. It is nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice change. What are all these boxes? These are oh, oh, these are um. Right here is where your trash goes in. So this oh, is this one of the drawers trash. that comes in. This will hold your trash can. Goes back and forth. Mm -hmm. yep. These are all just different drawers. And if uh, you notice, we're doing the dovetail drawers now. Mm -hmm. And again, we're doing that all here in shop. Oh, cool. Yeah. So. Okay. All very cool stuff. We updated our hardware from uh, yeah. push button. Yeah. To our handles. I like the handle. Yeah, you know? it does make it easier, and I also like to hang stuff off of it. Yeah. yeah. You know, the push button is very cool. Yeah. But the handles are more practical. Yeah. yeah. So you could put you could put coat yeah, hangers I'm sure on there. She likes installing them a lot better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are they easier to install? Okay, cool. That easier to maintain then. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But I get like those big uh, twisty ties, yep. and I'll wrap stuff around them. <laughs> Some of the drawer finishes here. Oh, so this is the uh, that we were just talking about. Yeah, but it's the polished finish of the. This ash. is the polished version yes. of the ash. Oh, okay, I see. And then this is a satin. Yep. 
Yeah, I like that. Yeah, you can That's see the nice. differences. Yeah. They, uh, once they're in the vehicle, they do show a little bit different color tent. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, they're very cool and they're our newest colors. Okay, nice. Yep. So here's like that thing that we saw start out as yes, uh, yeah, the composite. A, like as a composite, yeah, and now absolutely. it looks. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, this is That's the awesome. uh, this is the LED light panel for the yeah. ceiling. Yeah, very And cool. you know the reason why it's composite is basically to help keep the center of gravity low, but yeah. keep the weight down. Yeah. So it makes sense. We're all, we're trying to get cabinets as well as composite, oh, but we're not there yet. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So there's so this LED lighting that goes behind this, and it's a nice glow. Yeah, it's very okay. cool. It's are very are cool. people able to dial up and down the intensity they on can. these? Oh. And, and you can do that with any of our lights. Okay. So in Firefly, you can actually dim the lights and increase it. So oh, it's sweet. Decrease it, so. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you're not like spending all day. Okay, let me take these off, put these on. Dude. Yeah. No. 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 It's, it's dim. It's <laughs> dim. It's dim. So at nice. night, yeah. you're driving down the road. Hey, when we go check something, and you're not blinded yeah. by the driver. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I like that. Very, very nice. This is uh, James Holly. Hey, how's it going, James? Didn't you pick them through uh, early? Huh? Didn't you pick them through early? Yep. Yeah. No, no. You forgot all the stuff. We did tell everything. Me. We're doing everything here, James. Oh, yeah? yeah? James has been here for a very long time. He's one of the originals. Okay. Six years. Okay. Custom making basically everything that we still do today. Oh, cool. So prototypes, anything like that, James really helps with all that stuff. So. What are you building? What are you working on? Right now, we've got uh, funeral vans up front. Oh, okay. And I'm working on the shelves for the back of those. Okay, cool. Oh, you guys do those all? Well, not very often. Okay. okay. So, we have one of our oldest dealers it, um, sells limos okay. that are uh, designed for funeral homes. Okay. Um, and they desire a few things that are a little bit different than yeah. obviously a personal use vehicle or yeah. an RV. Absolutely. Um, because we have that relationship with that customer, mm -hmm. we still build him vans. Okay, good. You know, it's nice. the people that helped build this company to start with, we didn't forget about them. Right. And it's pretty easy to tell. Sometimes you see like this little tiny mom and pop dealer, mm -hmm. and you're like, why are they doing business with them? Mm -hmm. Well, it's because they were there before anybody else was there. Right. So we don't forget about that. Cool. Of thing. Cool. Good to know. All right. All right, James. <laughs> Thanks, James. So what I really want to show you guys before we come back on the line here. Okay. Our seating department. Seat. Yeah. Seating okay. department. Seat. This, is, yeah. this is very unique and interesting. Mm -hmm. um, you guys have great seats. Seat. Hands do. down. Yeah, everybody uh -huh. doesn't have nice seats. That's true. Like you guys. <laughs> and we make them all right here. Cool. So here's some foam padding, patterns, mm -hmm. fabric. As you see, we're sketching it out here. Lots of spray glue that is, that's not, empty. Man, how many not, of these? Yeah. <laughs> you know, keeping the environment safe. Right. Um, yeah, we'll see where the patterns are for our diamond stitching. Oh, okay. So this is where it starts These guys out. right here are on lunch right now. Okay. Okay. We got some hides up there. Again, more foam. So foam is a major shortage right now, so. It is? It's okay. basically like the same gold right here. Right here. Okay. This, this is all yeah, gold. Take this with me. Uh, <laughs> That's a bundle there. You can, you can trade it for pretty good stuff. Yeah. Oh, so here we go. These are, these are starting to come this together. This is some Love of our this. diamond yeah. seats here. There's some patterns that we're putting in for certain places. So what's the seating options? Is it like a gray and tan? You know, we got, you... we have black, gray, two different tans, a milkweed, which mm -hmm. is more of a cream, and then okay. a sand, which is a typical tan. Okay. Okay? Okay. If, if give an example. Mm -hmm. Sand, milkweed. Milkweed, okay. Look how close the two colors are. Yeah. But because tan is that important to us, right. um, it, we need to. Yeah, colors. I know, like I like this. Yeah. I like this. Yep, so yeah, yeah, yeah. this is your cream milkweed, yeah. this is your sand. And it's a different stitching in there, right? Yeah, yeah that has yeah, yeah. a darker stitching, so lighter I'll, stitching. I'll, I'll tell you what they're probably gonna do with this one right here. Okay. All right. So I see this is black stitch, and I see that this is more of a mocha stitch. Mm -hmm. This is gonna probably be a satin ash of milkweed. Oh. This one right here is probably gonna be sand of black denali. Based on the wood. Yep. Oh, cool. Yep, you can, right. you can always tell exactly what we're gonna be doing okay. here. What wood's gonna be with what? Yeah. Um, it's fairly easy to tell. Okay. 
piping and stitches. So you know how we always have pipings on our coaches oh, too. Oh, okay. That's where the pipings yeah, are here. Yeah, the piping. Okay. So this will be the piping. Going around the edges of the seating yeah. and stuff like that. Just oh, cool. the piping that's going to match this, uh, the satin ash oh, wood. Nice. Yeah. This right you guys here are messing is around, man. <laughs> this is your milkweed. This right here is going to match your walnut burl. Okay. This is a brown truffle. Yeah, we can, can people customize their seats or no? No. No. No, we okay. I think we have basically everything in order mm -hmm. that looks good. Okay. If you want to choose something outside that, more than likely it's not going to turn out well. Okay. We got tons of fabric rolls here, mm -hmm. but again, that's also hard to come by, so make sure to grab a little bit of Right. Party gift? No, I, I didn't bring that. my van, you know. You I brought the van, I'll just be sure. Yeah. <laughs> or I'll just swap my seats out. Exactly, exactly. More of those uh, pipings here. Yeah. And then oh, this, cool. this is where the true magic happens. Okay. The actual sewing department. Oh, sewing. Yep. Wow. There we go. So these are all double needle stitch machines here. Mm -hmm. um, and these girls kick butt. Yeah, man. Wow. You they guys have are people sewing. really talented individuals. That is cool. So these dupey machines, these are the machines? Yeah. The sewing machines. So, so here's the idea for yeah. yeah, absolutely. So here's a single stitch. She's going to run back through this to make it a double stitch. Okay. And if you guys notice too here, look at the different spools of thread right. on all these. Yeah. Because again, stitching and piping changes based upon wood color. Okay. Yeah, so you said, what was that you said just now? So if you notice all the spools of thread everywhere, right. how they change now mm -hmm. because they change based upon wood color. Oh, okay. Right? So as we see here, we got a black. Mm -hmm. Again, it's probably going to be black Denali wood. That's oh, be that's cool. so that. yeah, it's matching, uh -huh. the stitching is matching the wood. Yep. And we do both okay. ways. We have matching, uh -huh. meaning that we just match the fabric, mm -hmm. and then contrast. But 90% of everybody wants the contrast to match the wood. Okay. You know, typically a Bentley or Rolls Royce will charge you more money mm -hmm. to contrast. We don't charge anything extra because right. it's still, we're going to still put thread on there. We're yeah. still going to put piping on there. Might as well so do it, it right. Good. Yeah. Make it look good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thing. I'm trying to look for more complete. Like here's a, here's a, a back, right, back wrap. A, yep, this is going to be a back of a seat here. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be an AMG seat. Mm -hmm. Feel some of the fabric on there. Hey, what is the AMG? Um, the AMG is one of our older seats. Okay? Oh, okay. Most people now are associated with the new SLS seat we have. Mm -hmm. um, this is this is an older. So this is matching seat. Mercedes. Some kind, some kind of it, 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 initially, it was starting out that okay. way, uh -huh. but now we're just naming them after different uh, cars in the lineup. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> but yes. Initially, that yeah. was how it started. AMG right. tried to match that. Right. Scene. Okay. But cool. It's changed. Yeah, that's cool. Again, more gold here. Mm -hmm. And then here's the uh, bank right here, the ball. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is where the money is. This yeah. is that's the money right there, guys. Yes. Yeah. It's like when everyone was doing toilet paper, remember? Yes. It's like people were making toilet paper thrones. <laughs> this is the Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, for real, you guys are making those seats. Correct. Yeah. Now let me show you over here uh -huh. to where we uh, basically use our foam packs mm -hmm. and add them to the seat frames okay. before we even wrap them. Okay. Cool. We're passing through here, but we're starting to see a more complete RV. Yeah. Check it out. That door's finished. Oh, yeah. Oh, so and you guys are building the shade in here. I didn't even realize that. Oh, I'm going to, yeah. How do I do it? I messed this one up, Ron. No, you're all right. Yeah. Are you pulling that? Look at that. Look at that. It's magic. Yeah, but your blackout's built in. Yes. Awesome. Absolutely. Love it. No, no. If you black this one out, it gets pretty dark at night. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll, now, we'll, we'll take a now, look at Hank, this is yeah. something you like. Mm -hmm. We got a roof rack. Roof rack. We got off-road rims, and it's a 4x4. 4 4x4. 4 4x4. 4 yes. 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 That's how you got to say it in the country. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Oh, black interior. We got a graphite interior NG4. Very nice. We have nice. polished black and all it. All right, someone's working. Oh, that, that uh, shower door looks... Really nice. Yup, we got a rain glass shower door. That is I didn't, optional. It's an option. Yup, okay. it's standard on the new Weekender package for the Passage oh. and Legacy Edition for the Patriot. Oh, sweet. 
So if you like weed flooring, glass shower doors, mm -hmm. and power shades, you're going to like the Weekender and Legacy Edition. Yeah, that's what I already liked from the, the first one. <laughs> you like all those Lo things, Yeah, you? Lola knows. We'll call it the Hank Edition. All yes. Right? That's, yeah. that's all for you. Yeah. yeah. All right, so back over here, guys, talking more about that seating. Right. The seating, seating, seating. So we got our foam packs right here. We're gonna add them to the seat frames and then we're gonna grab the covers from over there in our sewing department. Okay. That's so these exactly what you think we're doing here. Yep. Yeah. So look at look at that guy right over there. Yeah. Okay, so it's written here what it is. How's it going? Now Here's another thing for you too. So you got your unit number on everything, mm -hmm. okay? So when a customer, it's not just like we have a bunch of supply just hanging around. Again, we are a very much more of a custom shop than anybody else. I mean, everything is designed for the bank. Right, okay. Yeah, very nice. If you notice this little pouch right here, that's gonna hold the massage chair. Yeah, I just noticed that, so these are massage seats. Uh-huh. So then those jump seats you're making completely yourself? All of us ourselves. So, yeah. I'm sorry, they come in like this? I'm so that. yeah, these are the Mercedes-Benz driver and passenger chairs. Yeah. Okay. Then they have to be completely basically pulled apart. Like this. Yep. And then we fabric wrap them. So then the, um, the jump seats are getting made. So that's what you see here. Yeah. There's the seat frames for the actual engine floor includes the chairs. Big comfortable ones. Yes, and then a bit of trivia. Right Ron's dad makes these. Lola. <laughs> he does, yep. Adnick yeah. uh, Seating Corporation. Yep. We'll, we'll check that out the next time we come we will. up. Well, yeah. yeah. It'd be very interesting to see that. An actual steel rack factory yeah. that's supplying the RV industry. Yeah, and we'll do a chair from beginning to end. Absolutely. Okay. Are these benches? Do you guys have? Yeah, you can have yeah. benches. Uh -huh. That would be a bench. So okay. oh, here's your seat right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Watch it. And then one thing we do here, we are the largest supplier of collegiate golf bands. Okay. Okay? What? So, yes, let me say that again. Largest supplier of collegiate golf bands. Okay. Okay? College so van for golf. For golf. So all of these golf right. uh, all these universities have golf teams. Yeah, you, you make the bands. bands. Wow. Because cool. you don't only need a few guys. Yeah. You need to carry clubs. The yeah. Sprinter van is perfect. For perfect it. for that. Yeah. So what team is this? So the travel luxury. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> the L's. The L's. Yeah. This is, this is the this is the L team. Yeah. They're lit. They're they lit. Are that's lit. What, this that's is, what it means. Team is lit. They're gonna. It's lit. It's on fire. They're gonna win a bunch of golf tournaments. That's for <laughs> Absolutely, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they're gonna roll up in style. Yeah. Someone will let us know what uh -huh. team that is. Uh -huh. Cool. I see a little. I see a yeah. shorty fresh over there, but we where, do. where you want to start? No, no, we okay. can check out the shorty. I know you have a thing yeah. for him. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's start there. You got thanks for your shorties, man. I like the shorty fresh, as you can shorty tell. Shorty fresh. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, was was on the lift, I'm guessing. It was. So what uh -huh. this lift right here does, this one and that one, mm -hmm. this is where we do our undercoating. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're done with the vehicle. Everything's done underneath the vehicle. Now it's time to make sure it's gonna uh, not rust out, mm -hmm. it's gonna wear and tear, no dust inside. Okay. Um, so the undercoating is done in this facility. In oh, undercoating. Factory. Okay, cool. I, I would like to definitely see the inside. Yeah, you have to call Tom, uh, call Tom Cruise on this one. Yeah. So this is a shorty getting built up here. So there's your, uh, your bench seat in the back. There we go. I don't want to go all the way in. It's still getting worked on. But uh, 
That's really cool. This is just like the same luxury, just a shorter version. Here's the shower, same full size, or well, I mean, it's not a full size shower that I can get in, but same size shower that you would find in the other vans, and double doors, which is nice. And then uh, here's your up front, everything coordinated. As soon as I can get my hands on one of these, I'll do that, and I'll share that with you guys. But uh, really, really. All right, so we're approaching the end of the assembly line, okay? And then it goes over here to final finish. Mm -hmm. Now, final finish has been very important the last, about last year. Yeah. Because we'll run out of supplies on this line, then I have to finish them up right through this here. Oh, okay. Okay, so we'll go through some of these vans over here in final finish. Okay, cool. Very nice color right Absolutely. here. Absolutely, this is the Satin Ash and yeah. Milkweed Patriot. Oh, nice. Well, this one's going to uh, Sunshine State RV. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, cool. When this one gets down there, I'm going to take a look at Look at this interior. Mm -hmm. well, look. Yeah, I like this wood. Wow. This looks bright. really nice. Yes. Yeah. It makes it very bright Yeah, in there. very nice. So this one's going to Sunshine State. At some point, you guys may see. If I don't do it, Nick is going to do it. Exactly. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so let me just go in here with right? you. Yeah. This is a preview of a video coming up with those guys, or me, or me, or both of us. Um, I really like the wood finish here. This uh, ash, and this is like a satin finish ash, so not glossy. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. And then also the um, like the actual handles, not recessed. That's great. <laughs> you know, here on the double door. Um, I really like the monitors now with this, yeah. you know, with this slope here. So you're Absolutely. sitting back here, you can enjoy you that. You sit here. Um, something new for mm -hmm. uh, 2022 mm -hmm. is that these have slide tracks move back and forth. Oh, cool. Um, and they have swivels. What's this thing? This is your teak floor mat. Oh, for the So this bathroom? will go in the restroom. Here. Oh, cool. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and as I was going to say, look, the wood surround, coordinated. Exactly. You got to coordinate. Have to coordinate. You gotta coordinate. Uh huh. Yeah. But look at that. Look on the look on the door handles. Oh, I see. Yeah, and this satin ash just really pops with that. Here you go, Lola. You know what would be nice? Satin ash in one of these uh, whatever these, this uh, blue grays. Right, blue blue grays. Yeah. Nope, this is actually the name for it. They weren't very special when they came. <laughs> over there. They just called it blue gray. Blue gray. I'll take it. Uh huh. Yeah, it looks great. But this is awesome. This looks really great. Powder blue almost. It is a yeah. powder blue. Well, I'd be better, yeah. but blue gray. <laughs> <laughs> so, what if I told you, Hank, that's exactly what this is. A milkweed and ash with oh, blue this? gray. Oh, yes. Okay, I gotta see how this looks. <laughs> I, like the, I like the waterfall. Uh, shower door. Yeah, go in, yeah, this has everything you like, Lola. Go in and check it out. Yeah, and then talk to the folks about it. Roof rack and off-road ramps. Yeah, for, yeah, throw a roof rack. Can we talk to get you out of this? Floor? No, it's real. Oh, it's right. not floor floor. Oh. See, there you go. Okay, you lost me then. I almost ordered this almost. specific one. Almost, you almost <laughs> walked out with it. Yeah. So there's the, there's the microwave or convection oven, I'm not sure. Yeah, so on the oh, MD4s geez. right now, they're all microwaves. Microwaves, okay. okay. And we moved it over there. If you notice, we've made the interior look a lot larger mm -hmm. by just moving things around. Right. But of course, some things had to be changed in order to make it happen. Right, but so we could figure it. We had to. But as you can see here, it feels so large inside and so bright now so bright. with what we made our changes on. The color helps for sure. Definitely. This is a great color color. Yeah. Very Scandinavian-ish. Yeah, love it. I love the waterfall door. So it's still a double door, but one of them is a waterfall, right? Yep. Yep. That's really nice. And as you guys, if you can show this, Lola, the piping here. That we talked about? Yeah. So yep. this is a complete seat. So the frame of these seats, when I'm like messing around with them, your dad makes these. They do. They're, it's from Adnet. Okay, very nice. Yep. Oh, I want to see the shower real quick. Yeah. Are you trying to open the shower? I am, so that I can show the bath mat. Very nice. It's like being in a spa every day. That is really cool, right? Mm -hmm. The piping. Check out the piping on all this right here. Very nice. Only thing, this is not a four before. Oh, lost you there. Right? Yeah, no roof rack and no ladder rack, and all that. Kind of that. Stuff. Okay. 
Now, let me show you guys some cruisers. Okay. Okay, you guys, I know you guys are the RV class B right. people. But let's, let's show you a little bit of style. All right. Yeah, All right. Very nice. This is what the golf the golf team rolls this, around this in. This is what the golf team rolls in. Yeah. When we get grandkids, we'll have to get one of these to Here you go, guys. Kids around. Oh, really nice. Yeah. That's nice. stunning. Mm -hmm. have black with a tan piping. Yeah. yeah. So this right here is your black and white tuxedo package yeah. on a cruiser. Yeah. So check out that ceiling. This is that composite light that these guys make. Look at that. That's beautiful, right? Great lights. I mean, this is just a showpiece right here. It is. Yeah. So this is where we started as a company. Mm -hmm. We yeah. made these types of vehicles, and then the RV game is something that we stumbled upon. Yeah. After uh, we realized it started getting to the price segment that we yeah. could afford to play in. Yeah. So, because we make them custom in shop, so if they don't meet the certain criterion price, we mm -hmm. can't really make one. Yeah. Now these are great. Like Nick was saying that um, you know they people buy these as limos and yes. stuff like that. And he uses them as limos yeah. and, uh, and gets driven around, you know, you know, you know it, it, it's it's a personal use limo, yeah. right? Because you think of limo, you're thinking all the stretch, going to prom and stuff. Right. But these are personal use. This is for day trips. This is mm -hmm. for all types of those things. And yeah. If you have a big family, you guys yes. are driving around, you want to do it in one vehicle, drop off a bunch of people. You got it. You can work from it yep. and all that kind of stuff. Really Absolutely. nice. Yeah. And back there, you have a restroom as well. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Um, so you don't have to stop every ten minutes no. with a big family. Yeah, the only thing you're the only thing you're missing is a shower. But if you That's really it. wanted to, all those tr uh, good big truck stops have Absolutely. nice showers. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Can if you want to the back. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I'll open up from the back. Please. And and converts to beds, right? And then we're checking the tailgate setup here. Oh, okay. So we have all the wires ran from the inside, Apple TV and everything, mm -hmm. ran to here so you can have a tailgate. Oh, and you can still you see your Apple TV. Out, oh, cool. And you got a tailgate set up for all the Is there games. a mount out here for the, um, for the, for the monitor? Yeah, right here. Oh, you can mount the monitor there? No, no, no. Oh, so, mount. Like, yeah. oh, no, so no, you no, can no. put it there, but no. you have to have something else. Exactly. To, you, 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 okay. you gotta think this type of sleek design right yeah, here. Yeah, you don't want to put anything on it. Yeah, yeah it won't work well. You yeah. just hit a table. Yeah, table if you got mount. some, there's some really strong suction uh, cup things that people really, have. Really, really strong. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it worked well. Yeah. They can hold bicycles and all yep. that. They would work great. Yeah, really very nice. Very nice here. Is this your to toilet paper holder? Sure is. Yeah, there you go. I would try to... It's a good handle. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's cool. These are really nice, man. They are. You know, nice corporate vehicle right here. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep, so these are the big, the, the big, uh, the big uh, cargo boxes. That yeah, we, were we showed right earlier. There. Yep. Yeah. We know they're lightweight. We yeah. know they look pretty. And you and can store stuff in it. Got. Yeah, microwave there, and then this this is the cabinet that we were looking at with the fridge. Yep. Um, is this a table here? Uh, no, no, no. What this, so this is is oh, this, this is, is a, a utility a panel. Here. A utility panel. Yep. Okay, so cool. So wireless all the internet. Yeah. Um, and then this is your G12 board, which controls your touchscreen control system throughout the vehicle. Oh, okay. Very nice. Now, I have to ask Ron. Yes. You seem to know a little bit about everything. A little bit. How long have you been working for Mackie Uh Six years now. Six years. Yep, six yeah, That's years. about the start of this company is it like well, itself, we, right? We, or? No. So Midwest yeah. Auto Design started in 03. Okay. They're one of the first master upgraders from Mercedes Benz. Okay. Okay. Now, they did a short supply, didn't do very many. They just did limos and mm. especially those vehicles. Okay. About six years ago was mm -hmm. the first year we ever tried to make an RV. Oh, and that's okay. When I okay. Okay, that's okay. when you came on board. So, okay, um, cool. I, I, wa I worked for the Class A division at Coachman mm -hmm. as a sales trainee. Mm -hmm. And we came over here kind of as a startup, if you mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. And then we were about three years with an investment firm out of California. Mm -hmm. And then the last three years for me have been with uh, Red Group. Okay, cool. Trade company. Yeah, and that's what's on the outside of the building that we'll show you guys. Yep. So we're looking at a 4x4 with a roof rack. Yes. And probably a ladder on the other side, there right? Is. Yep, most likely. So uh, is this, this is probably almost done? It is, yes. This okay. is an MD2, right. 4x4, roof rack, off-road rims, uh, with a sand and a black canal interior. Okay, very nice. 
I, for some reason, the seat is out. The seat's probably getting no, something was up with it. It's up, getting fixed up. Control. Yeah. Cool. Do you want me to go through here real quick and show everyone the interior of this one? So here we go. Okay, huh? Yeah, so quality control. Yeah. Is that what you guys wanted to get to next? Okay. Yeah, so we, our final finish does a lot of the quality control, checking the base components. But then there's a whole nother wing to our building right over here mm -hmm. that doesn't talk to this wing because you have to have somebody that's kind of a, a naysayer, someone yeah. that's a stickler. Yeah. And, and that's partial. why we have them back there. Oh, okay. So they go uh, through here and test it, mm -hmm. and then they really get spoken to over, over here. There. Okay. See, like this, so just one quick thing. Yeah. Where, so the shorter ones have the ladder here? Correct. Right. Okay. Now, notice why. So you only okay. have this much room to put one. Okay. And then if you have your exhaust for your furnace there. You don't want and any stuff. then you got stuff. your generator there. Yeah. No place so to put it. So up there's a place to put it. Yep. But still solar panels up top, or just one? No, no, you got one and two, I see. Oh, okay. Yep. And then we'll go into here into our quality control. Okay. So as you can see here, it's quieter now. Yeah. Were we in here earlier? We were. This is the first place we kind of checked out. Okay. Very cool. This is where I would show someone if they actually want to look at one of our vehicles. Right. Okay. This we want to see what you guys have. Okay. Everything Can't... in here is supposedly done. Right. Until they go through it and make sure it's done. So if people wanted to, can they get these directly from you guys or they no. can just look at them here? So there's a lot of confusion about that because mm -hmm. we used to be a factory direct company. Okay. Okay. For many years. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a certain point where you get too large for that. Mm -hmm. um, also Rev Group um, mm -hmm. who bought, took us over, all their other divisions and stuff are basically dealer based. Mm -hmm. So it would kind of be weird to have one other company that right. is factory direct. Okay. So. Yeah. So basically same throughout the company now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But folks, if they're here. Mm -hmm. and take a look yeah get some ideas think about what they want to order that kind of thing a absolutely now okay. you hank you you're a little more special mm -hmm. okay typically right now our customers aren't allowed inside the vehicle oh, okay inside yeah. our facility I'm, i am special but usually the other kind of special <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well you're special to us hank yes and, right uh, thanks wanna, i appreciate it and we want to make sure uh, you were able to come take a tour yeah and also we understand that could taking a tour of this facility right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. where some people can't out mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. um, and you were able to put it online for them absolutely uh, kind of gives them the whole gist um, from their own home yeah it's a big deal and even for me I could tell you that I've looked at several of your things we've done mm -hmm. um, at least one or two videos together yeah and I've looked at some of your stuff but just looking at how you guys actually make this yeah I, I mean this is my opinion yeah so these these are usually expensive things right sure and um, probably what you guys are making uh, I don't know what the mm -hmm. big price difference would be yeah between what you see out there and what you don't I don't want to get into that but I really think that the value is there for yes. what you're paying up yes to go to this yes. it's more than there yeah just looking no. at all the work you guys are doing like making making the seats over doing all the wood covering everything you know comparable guys to us are airstream mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now Airstream, if you go to their factories, probably gonna look fairly similar to, let's mm -hmm. say, like uh, Coachman's or mm -hmm. something, right? Just mm -hmm. a straight line, mm -hmm. uh, an assembly builder, right? right. I mean, very similar. Yeah. Ooh, obviously, we're not that. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we are a custom shop. You know, we mm -hmm. may not uh, be able to do all the crazy things we used to be mm -hmm. able to do, take every demand. Yeah. But to say we're not a custom shop after seeing mm -hmm. everything we do here. It's, a, no. Yeah, it's, it's No, this is custom. Yeah, this yeah. is not the, the Mercedes that comes in is nice. That's why we started. We're probably close to, to wrapping this up right now. Yep. And we started at that. And it's nice. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's great. a nice van. Yeah, it's By the time it gets here, you know, you're looking at a Rolls Royce, a Bentley. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, uh, pretty close to bespoke. Not, I don't want to, you yeah. know. No, 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 no. Because because the thing is, a customer can't come in and say, how do yeah. move a cabinet or something like that. Right. You can't do it anymore. Yeah. Right? But that cabinet's made up from the ground up. Yeah. Right here at our facility. Yeah. If this is like not your first, and you know you have the wherewithal to do it and you don't want to do this again yes <laughs> this absolutely. is where you go absolutely and you pay it off and everything and then you enjoy all of this kind of stuff how uh -huh. do you guys uh how do you guys cover all of this or 
how do folks, let's say like I did buy, I, I bought one of these yeah. and I have issues or things like yeah. that, things I need fixed so, or even adjusted, how do you guys? I, I think we probably have one of the best service stations ever mm -hmm. in front of our office up here. Okay. Okay. They are always trying to help everyone when it comes to just take it where you don't, you have to go to one of our dealers to get mm -hmm. fixed. Mm -hmm. And these guys up front will actually help you find where to take it. Okay. Okay. Um, we always prefer you go to the dealer you bought it from because mm -hmm. you're going to be treated the best, obviously. Right, right. right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's not the case, mm -hmm. especially with this new age of e-commerce, buying mm -hmm. from across the country mm -hmm. is very normal mm -hmm. and should have no problem in use. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, calling our service shop up the front here. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes if you have the ability to come here and get it worked on. You can get it worked on. Get it worked okay, on. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I'm very proud of our service department. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're awesome. fantastic. Yeah, and this is a nice part of the country. This is my first time actually yeah. like hanging out over here. It's really yeah. nice. You, you know, can find we, some we cool got a, things we got to a, do. A, a cool things, Good. right? Yeah. We got we got Chicago, a large mm -hmm. city, mm -hmm. right next to us. We also have Lake Michigan. Mm -hmm. We have the Great Lakes, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a beautiful part of the country. Yeah, so we got if, Amish if you want to make a trip for yeah. you, yeah, Amish country is good. Yeah, it's good food. Great food. Great food. I take a nap. You get big. Um. Uh. But yeah. No. 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 Um. Like said always talk to your service department mm -hmm. try to schedule something out please don't just show up one day because they always got things going on right yeah call in, call in. you yeah. know schedule yeah what um go go those, through the chain of command where you yes, bought it please, from please. your local people if you are coming through here you can't get something yes. uh, I'm sure these guys will be oh yeah uh, completely happy to make you happy yes right? we want okay. you to be happy yeah. we want yeah. you to be happy we're, we we're maybe a big company now but our roots and where we started from wasn't yeah so uh, we still I, we still try to act that way. Yeah, and this is house money. Yeah. But fun house money. Yes. So yes, in other yes. words, like uh, you know, people people love their homes and everything. Yep. And these you can love them as well, but these can take you around uh, around the country. Yeah. You know, in some cases around the world, if you really want to. Yeah. No, no. Um, no. And in style, in, in like where people are impressed with when they see what's inside. Yeah. Uh, no, what did absolutely. you want to show us out here? Well, you know, I, I want to show you some finished vans. Yeah. You know? Looks great. Um, you know, you got an ND2 right here. Mm -hmm. I believe we got ourselves a Patriot. Right. You know, a lot of Patriots coming down the line right now. Yeah. It's probably our number one growing model. Right. It's the Patriot. Yes. Um, so we have an ND2 with our black Denali polished wood, mm -hmm. graphite interior, um, blue gray exterior. Yeah. Goes very great pretty with unit. The gray seats. And, and another thing, too, this is a lithium unit. Lithium. You know, okay, cool. I, I think now we're on the cusp of. That we produce more lithiums of than generators. Okay. And it goes to show how well the lithium unit uh, works, mm -hmm. and um, uh, where we're moving as a, a country right now. Yeah, yeah. Which it, is a good. It's a good in a good direction. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we want to take care of the environment. We want um, it's not to be as noisy. Right. We want it to be a better experience for everybody. Yeah. It's good. You know, if you pull up into a neighborhood um, in the wee hours. Yes. Right? But it's really hot out there. You can still run your air conditioning. Mm -hmm. and you don't have to run a generator or anything like yeah. that. Although I know the generators are quiet. It is. Yes. You know, they got the new quiet tech generators from yeah. that we're using. Yeah. Um, but nothing is more quieter than no. nothing. No. I've been spoken to. <laughs> Even though I know the generator is quiet, there yeah. was someone that spoke to me. <laughs> yeah, because they, they heard my generator. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the lithium is nice. Um, I, like what, I like that you guys are putting these... Uh, what are these lights called out here? Like patio porch lights? Oh, we, we call it patio lighting. If you look at okay. our firefly inside, mm -hmm. um, it'll tell you that that's the patio light. And then you mm -hmm. have a, a LED strip on the bottom of the awning. Right. Um, that works that out comes pretty on well. Too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you got some pretty good light outside. Yeah. I know I've used it when I've camped as well, you know, around mm -hmm. the fire and stuff. You want to be able yeah. to see what you're doing. Like prepare, prepare a dinner or something yeah. or a snack. Looks really good. And then I think you guys, are you doing monitors and everything? Yeah, this has a monitor. You know, we, we don't do it in everything. Oh, you don't do it in all? people option it. Okay. Yeah, no, Nick's a big component of the four, four camera system that yeah. we're using. Right. Um, modern specialists is, a lot of our dealers are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's convenient to have it. What else do you have uh, in here that we could take a look at? Yeah, let's, let's take a look over here. Yeah. Hopefully that matte silver one. I hope it's still here. I hope it's still here, and it is, guys. It is, come we'll on, this is my favorite. Look. Okay, if you guys want to know, um, if uh, Ron decides yes. he wants to surprise me, or you know, Lola's, you know, Lola wants to surprise me. How big a surprise are we talking, Hank? A big surprise. Yeah, you know. I think 50 is coming up next year. Is it? Oh yeah, yeah that's 50's a big five. Next year for me. Yeah. Right. This is like everything I like. So 
Is this a special paint job you guys did? It is, yeah. So okay. it's a fully custom paint job. You can't get this from Mercedes Benz or okay. really any manufacturer of our size. What's it called? Um, this is what we're going to call just a matte silver. You'll matte see silver. on the order form as matte silver. Matte silver. It, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Um, so yeah, so which model is this? Uh, this right here is a Passage with a Weekender package. Passage. That's the equivalent of a Patriot with a Legacy Edition package. Okay. 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 So those are the brother sister products. Okay. Um, but yes. So what that comes with? Right. We got a weed flooring here. This is real nice. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we saw we this. We have uh, power window shades. Okay. We have a rain glass shower door that we've okay. seen before, and you guys right. like. That's very nice. Yep. Yeah. And, and the, this has uh, the satin. Um, satin black Denali. Satin, satin black, black Denali, Denali with so you, milkweed fabric. So you can get every finish uh, gloss or satin. Correct. Okay. All right. Very nice. Do we want to go in here, Lola, so I can just take a? I'll just do, or I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Nice piping on here. So the Denali, like you said, gets the darker piping. It does. So storage, nice storage in here. Um, we've looked at some uh, some other things before. There's lots of storage back here. Um, even here, this is long, thin storage back here. Same thing here. You've got your air conditioning. I'm sure this goes down as a bed. Let's see, how do I make this go down? A bed. There we go. So this is what you would get here, Lola. Huh? That's the recline position. Yeah, so this will, yeah. So this can go all the way down. I don't know if there's something there. I don't want to make it. Is there something there? Um, uh, nothing's no. here. Nope, just us. Okay. If it's not going down, I'm sure they're just testing it still. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is like a full bed here. Um, another seat here. And then you could put like your luggage or pets and stuff like that under there. You know, we've, we've, we've taken a look at this before. And then there's the uh, jump seats up here. So you've got two seats. This flooring I really like. And of course you've got, you can drive up here. And then Ron is saying power shades. I don't know how, you, uh, you've got uh, USBs here. How do the power, let's see what happens in there. There's gotta be a remote for the power shades, right? Yes. Uh, Firefly actually has it in there. Oh, Firefly, uh -huh. let's see, how does it? Uh, it's a brand new thing, so I'm gonna be with you on this one. Right. So we got the awning there, we're gonna go to lights. Oh, that's your air conditioning. Here you go. Shades. Right in your side. Shade, yeah. shade, shades. Master shade. There we go. There we go, guys. Power shades. Oh, man, that's luxury. That's luxury right there. Awesome. <laughs> Love it. You can sit back here and work. You got power. Plugs. You know what? I think I want some privacy. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that's cool. And whoever the passengers are while you're driving down the road, they got a nice big TV. Nice big TV. They can listen to. Yep, absolutely. All that's color coordinated. Let's go back on the outside. Yep. So, uh, and there's a few fireflies. I like the fact that you guys put a firefly over here. Yeah. Right next you know, to the driver. You want to be able to control the radio in the rear. Mm -hmm. And you also want to be able to control the air conditioning heating power in the back as well. Yeah. So those yeah. are things the driver wants to be in control over, and right. we knew that. Right. Yeah, this is really uh, nicely... Nicely appointed, I want to say. Yeah, no, no, it, this is a very well equipped unit. Power doors, obviously, you would get. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take a look at this back here. I love this paint job, man. Yeah, no, it's yeah. very pretty. So, are these powered? Uh, the are rears are, are not powered. Okay, so okay. You bring it down. Yeah. And you just flip it up the end and it will go right. right back up. Storage under here. Yep, good amount of storage, pass through for skis. Yeah. Poles, anything else. Okay, and then some access to these panels and yep, stuff yep. back there. And that's something uh, new. We want to make sure everybody doesn't really need uh, a technician if there's something simple like a fuse or something that gets right. blown. What's here? Oh, this is like a handle? Oh, there you go. A hanger. A hanger. Yep, a hanger. Oh, cool. Yep, yep. Like so let's, uh, let's say you get some dry cleaning done, right? Yeah. You guys want to go into the city and have a real nice dinner? Right. Just you could just put it here and it would be nice and flat. Exactly. Oh, cool. Yep. Because that's the thing with the Class Bs, you know, mm -hmm. you're going to be folding a lot of things. Yeah. So every once in a while you do need something that can't be folded. Yes. I agree. That's very nice. Uh, your, your system up 
Yeah, so we have HD air antenna, and then we also have a Cradle Point wireless internet system. Okay. So we've been using that since forever. Okay. okay. Um, it is a SIM card based system, so it's like a hotspot. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's designed to be used in motion, mm -hmm. but it really helps conjunction for Apple TV mm -hmm. to basically run Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, all the good ones mm -hmm. on your televisions inside. Oh, cool. Okay. So While everybody you're going down is the road. always entertained. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, can I climb up here? Yeah, absolutely. Take a look. Okay. I'm going to climb up, Lola. Do you want to pass me the camera? You just had to climb up. <laughs> yeah, come on, pass me the camera. So here you guys go. There's a big solar panel up here, one up front. There's the AC, and uh, actually there's another solar panel. So there's like three up here. There will be three. This is a yeah. freedom package lithium, so we right. have the uh, upgraded solar. And you can still get storage up here. You can still get. You can still store some rescue stuff up here. A couple of bags and things like that. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and like I said, if, if you do put a box or something up there, mm -hmm. you know, maybe when you use the box, you don't have that one solar panel exposed, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean you can't use a box up there. Yeah. You know? Oh, okay. I see what you're you saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's, you just have less solar abilities. Right. If you're creative, you could get some stuff up here. Absolutely good. It, it is going to take some creativity. It's a good place to put your shovels. Yes. There you go. Yeah. You then go. you send your butler up there. <laughs> then, yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> AKA um, your, your co pilot. You know, we, we talked a little bit. You know, uh -huh. this is an accessory that uh, mm -hmm. we're just playing with. This is from Al Vance. Oh, from Al? Set, yep, this cool. is a little bit different. Yeah. The system holds your tire on board. Yeah. Um, and then the ladder, obviously, is a little different as well. Yeah, I've seen I've seen this on Al. Yeah. But uh, it's not any option forms or anything like that right now. Oh, we're okay. just uh, playing around with some stuff. You guys stuff. are testing out some you know, uh, Al we, accessories. Uh, we got some KC lights in yesterday, too. That's like the standard. Ah, uh, so just, it, it's all coming. Oh. It's all coming. Just uh, we're, okay, I'm just playing around with all that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see those cases. But don't, don't uh, imagine our interiors will ever change. Like no. I said, <laughs> S class interiors will be. You're good. Do. <laughs> yep. Yes, you're, you're good, good here. All right, Ron, thanks so yes. much for showing us the factory here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really, really happy that I got to see this because there's yeah. so much detail. Uh, you guys really do put most of this together. You get the shell of a van, yes. you take it apart and you just make it into something special. Yeah, no, I, we yeah. do. And this is how we've done it forever. Mm -hmm. um, and as we grow, we haven't changed. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, it, we haven't got the assembly route. Mm -hmm. it, we're a custom up there. Yeah, and, yeah. And that shows. Yeah, you really have to see this to appreciate it. I hope the folks out there who took the time to see this do. If there are people out there that have yeah. questions or things they want to know about American Coach, Rev Group, all the stuff you guys are Absolutely. doing, where do they go? Um, yeah, so you know we have a few different brands. You know mm -hmm. we have uh, Midwest Auto Designs is the first brand, mm -hmm. um, and that's where our division is known as. Mm -hmm. We produce the American Coach, mm -hmm. um, Ultimate Toys, the Fleetwood. So all their prospective websites for those mm -hmm. brands uh, have tons of information, dealer mm -hmm. locators, um, product information, and of course most of our sales staff is very well trained. Yes, and uh, Ron actually was. Uh, I think you were the first guy to go on live with us. Yeah, 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 I was, I was, I was pretty good. I appreciate cool. that, yes. Yeah, and you've taken all the time to show us this stuff, man. Absolutely Very good. Well, this has been really thorough, and I'm not sure how long it is, but we'll probably put like a timeline in there for people who want to, you know, jump around and look at yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But very thorough, though. Very thorough. Yeah. You're, you're going to need a cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, or just grab the popcorn. Just yeah. bring the popcorn, guys. Yeah. If, if you buy one of these, you probably want to go for a ride. Yeah, you're probably going to want to see all these details. Yep. All right, Ron, we're yep. out, man. Absolutely. Thanks. Good, good seeing you again, Good seeing you guys. All right. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We're out. Peace. Thanks to Lola. <laughs>